Motion carries. The next item of business, the intergovernmental agreement to amend the enterprise zone. The intergovernmental agreement to amend the current enterprise zone was presented for approval. This agreement will amend the agreement by including the city of Assumption in the enterprise zone for the city of Tierra and Christian County. A motion was made by Tim Carlson and seconded by Vicki McMahon to recommend to approve the agreement. The motion carried. I'd like to put this in the form of a motion. Matt? Second. Yeah, question. Can I keep my can? Uh, just to clarify, adding assumption, and, and this will add assumption on the one we already we currently have, right? As well as the new one. And then can we're in the we're going to be in the renewal process or we're currently in the renewal process. Where the application is in the process right Is that gonna throw anything off, adding another name? Oh no, no, it actually makes it better because it, it allows us to utilize GSI's uh, employee base. Uh, okay. It gets the numbers up. Okay, that, that, that was yeah. basically my question. Is, yeah. is, would it be an amended application and would yeah. that be a problem? No, not at all. So, it's okay, gotcha. Thank you. Linda Curtin? Yes. Charles Nickler? Yeah. Becky Edwards? Yes. Donna Hibbets? Yes. Ray Coons? Yes. Dell Livingston? Yes. Mike McClure? Yes. Vicki McMahon? Yes. Denise McGord? Yes. Chad Michael? Yep. Mark Pierce? Yes. Phil Schneider? Yes. Matt Wells? Yes. Molly Alaria? Yes. Timothy Carlson? Yes. Craig Corzine? Yes. Motion carried. Next item of business, new computer requested for the chairman's office. Recently, it was recommended that the H2 desk computer be replaced with a new version. The actual age is not known, however, probably 10 years old. Request to replace it and pay for contingency as the small office had not been carrying enough for a replacement cost. A motion was made by Tim Carlson and seconded by Vic McMahon to approve the request. During the discussion, a request was made to get another quote for the $1,100 replacement warranty information. The previous motion was rescinded by both members, and a motion was made by Vicki McMahon and seconded by Denise McWard to allow purchase up to $800 from contingency for the replacement of the computer. The motion carried. Can we just say something? Okay. Yep. Since then, we've actually had her hard drive replaced with a faster hard drive, and it seems to be sufficient this time. So we're going to take this request on with the budgets and go ahead and just leave it out of the company. <coughs> that's okay. And I say she and Janet. Going ahead with it. No, we'll, okay. we'll hold off the budgets hold this time. Okay. Last item of business. Uh, budget hearings are set Tuesday, July 30th, and Wednesday, July 31st will be the initial budget hearings for the departments to present. Any late presentations will be on August 15th at regular finance meeting. Tuesday, August 27th is set aside for further evaluation of all budgets. All budget hearings will begin at 6 p.m. More information will be out to the departments soon. This concludes my report. Thank you, Clark. Uh, any new business that anyone would like to bring to the table? No? I'll move on to uh, and I, my chairman's office uh, updates. I've covered that with me. So we'll move on to the mileage and per diem report. Have a uh, motion, please, to accept the mileage and per diem report. Vicki? Second? Donna? Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, you missed the gentleman yeah. there when you said at the question. Oh, I'm sorry. And he had his hand up. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, sir. Can you stand, please? Yeah. I'm sorry, sir. Do you, can can you speak up or can you come up here? We have a water problem, and her mother's house. When this water's up like it is right now, she can't even use her bathroom. And then we're in the cliff, but this problem keeps existing. I asked the lady, I said, what do you do for a bathroom? She says, we got a bucket. This, this is not acceptable. Lori brought some pictures. You got to go with me? Did she pass those around for the board members to see? Absolutely. And he did just take care of it. This one of those people that's busy. Well, I know everybody's busy, but I've been there down there for 10 years. I've been working on this most of the time and it's still there. We got to get some of that water out of something. It's coming from Dwayne Dozier's field across County 5 through Cole. This should have never been put in. They're dumping it right in there on the farm. 
That's no way to get rid of that water on the feet. It's like taking somebody in the bathroom and dump it in the neighbor's yard. You know, about the same difference. What is the address, sir? What's your name? I can show it to you. It's on the phone. It's on the road that kind of beats. Well, she'll leave those. Because yeah, you know that. You know where, where it is, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We've been working on the tile there in that existing area. Okay. We've got to get some valley street come down. Help us with that. We can get our whole schedule together with the privacy and we do something with the tiles. At least make sure it's open up the road. The problem is the problem's falling on downstream, and then somebody else is going to have to take the Cliff, is that the natural uh, fall of the land? Is that not natural? No, the natural grading goes to the west, down the bottom, the bottom, the creek down the bottom, and the other end of the So is it not going to natural fall of the land then? It is natural. Okay, it is natural fall of the land then. Okay. But if that road had not been put in, then it wouldn't be coming up. So the road would have been put in, sir. It would have come across too. It was a dog that didn't have. I don't like dog in this leash. I understand that, but it's still. That's not your way of life. Well, as far as I was concerned, it's Christian County water over there. If we got a tile plug on us, I think they ought to clean it out. I can say this I've lived in that area all my life. I know we've had a lot of rain this year, but I've never heard of that water dumping and never seen water around those houses before. Well, it looks to me like something's had to happen. That's what I was wondering. Has it, it happened? I mean, I, I could be wrong about that, but maybe you know, not. I'm I'm well, the only place where the county is liable for it, whether you might mistake it mistaken or not, is uh, <laughs> the easement of the road, correct? correct. What I'm thinking is, though, something has to happen here. All that water needs is sitting up in the back of the I think there's a combination. Because if you go up a lot west, and that old ditch runs into the top. And you go down where the tile projects through, there's a lot of trees around. You don't know exactly what the ditch does. When we get there, we can get the municipality on the same schedule as us. They've also agreed to fill or try to get in that tile.